Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanae and I'm coming to you with a video today on how to make a successful banner for whatever function that you are trying to complete this banner for. Here's a picture of the banner. If you want to see how I created the banner, how I traced the lettering, how I drew out the pictures, keep watching this video. And if you really like this video and how well it was explained, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel and make sure you uh, share this video with other football moms or other creatives who need to know or want to know how to make a, a banner inexpensively. Everything that I used in this video was from the Dollar Tree. The project itself cost no more than $15. So you can do this at home just like I did. I hope they turn out beautifully. And if you want to share with me how you created your banner, definitely do that. Hit me up in the comments or follow me on Instagram under Yo Self Care Mama. Or just hit me up in the comments if you really want me to see your creative side and we can just share on that. Without further ado, let's get into it. I started by measuring my dog and then cutting the paper in the size that I needed. I also cut another piece because I plan to do another dog on the other side. Um, so right here, I'm just taping off my paper so it doesn't move when I start to trace. Here's me tracing the bulldog. And then I went on ahead and just mirrored the bulldog image on my screen so that I could trace um, another side for the other side of the banner. And there you have it. I went on ahead and traced the two bulldogs for the banner. Um, I have my ring light here to give me some extra lighting, but I'm going to go ahead and overlap the uh, pencil marks with black marker that way I could see the lines once I start to paint the bulldog I don't want the paint to overlap the trace marks and then I'm unable to see where I need to to paint so I'm going to go ahead and line it right now And voila, as you can see, the marker definitely brings out the bulldog. The pencil uh, marks were kind of to get it on the paper, but the marker is definitely going to bring it out. And now it's time to paint.
variety is starting to come along you guys so i got one bulldog on one side and another bulldog on the other side and right in the middle is where i'm going to put the bulldog's logo the name uh put their saying dogs gotta eat right in the middle so we're about to go ahead and get started on tracing the letters I made these templates with each alphabet needed for the Bulldogs. Here you can see me tracing the letter B for Bulldogs. Again, I went to Canva and just put each letter on a template and downloaded it and was able to take that picture and just put it on my screen and um, trace it like that. I really like this um, this font because it looks very sports like and i thought it was super cute and i could paint the insides what i like about working with this gift wrap paper is the lines on the back of the paper you can actually see it through the paper once it's on the television but once it's off of the TV, you can't see anything. It's just plain white paper. But the lines are gonna help you to keep everything symmetrical and on one accord. Everything looks uniform and perfect. Again, we're gonna go ahead and take our black marker and trace the lettering so that we don't lose anything once we start to paint. And now it's time to paint. Remember, nothing has to be perfect. Just make sure that you're painting in the lines, but if you mess up a little bit, that's okay. Just keep going. And in the end, I took my marker and just kind of went over all of the lines that I had created just so I can kind of bring out the painting a whole lot more, that pop of color. As you can see, I went outside the lines just a little bit, but you know, that builds character. It adds character, excuse me. And you know, I don't think you can really tell. I think it looks good. Went on ahead and made a couple of signs for the sidelines as well. Alrighty, so I finished the banner, but I went on ahead and rolled it back up in the brown paper um, roll thingy that it came in. I actually got the banner art paper from my mom. She went to the dollar store and was able to find this. So I put it on the back of the banner as reinforcement. That way um, it won't easily break or anything like that before they start to run through it. Again, you can see the uh, gift wrapping paper and the um, art paper, the art banner paper. And yeah, so I'm going to roll it back up and give it to the team. And I can't wait for you all to see it. It's going to look so good. And here is the finished product. Here is the banner I made for the Bulldogs for my son's team. I'm so proud of these guys. They went out here Saturday and they won the game. So they go into the championship. I can't wait to see them guys play. Congratulations, Junior. Congratulations to the 8U Bulldogs.
Thank y'all for watching this video. Again, like and subscribe so you never miss another video. Okay, bye.